Okay, I'm just going to go through the uh, parts needed to turn all this into one of these. Um, first, you're going to need some basswood. Um, this here is 3 16th inch by quarter inch basswood. This is quarter inch by 3 8. This will be 1 8 by 3 8. And you'll need some, uh, just some plain balsa wood. It doesn't have to be this wide, maybe, uh, you know, or this long. Uh, this will be just for uh, some inside stuff you won't see. Next, you'll need to get some uh, pieces of steel wire. This is a 30 thousandths. This is a 20 thousandths steel wire. And then for... The car body itself, you'll need some various sizes of basswood. Uh, this is a uh, Midwest um, basswood, uh, part number 8026, 8025, 8021. And then for the framing of the body, I use Northeastern, this is actually HO scale uh, lumber. I'll just half it, or uh, double it for, or I'm sorry, half it for uh, O scale. And I have, uh, this is HO scale 8 by 10. This is HO scale 8 by 12. HO scale 8 by 8. And you need some brass wire. This is uh, 32 thousandths diameter brass wire. It doesn't have to be 32 thousandths. It's going to be roughly around 30 thousandths. Need some some uh, br a piece of brass. It doesn't have to be a sheet. It can be a strip. Um, we're just going to snip off some little strips of this here. This is 20 thousandths brass. This is uh, KNS phosphor bronze sheet. Uh, we'll use it to make some some strips for the contacts on the bottom of the cars. If you make this an operating car, if you don't make it an operating car, you won't need this phosphor bronze. Um, and then next for styrene, I have evergreen 10 thousandths by 125 thousandths. Need uh, I use a sheet of black 10,000 styrene. Now you could use white. I just use black because it, um, then I don't have to paint the, the inside bottom of it on the car. So that's uh, 10,000 sheet, and you'll also need a sheet of uh, 30,000 styrene. Again, I use black. Uh, then for the parts you'll need to get is I'm using the San Juan uh, number 220. Uh, trucks for ON3. You can get these gauged for ON30 and uh, they'll work either way. Then I'm, I've got uh, some grant line parts here. This is item number 3553. They're the door hinges. Item number 33. It's the brake wheel. Item number 54. It's the turnbuckles. And you need a good supply of a uh, nut bolt washer casting so this is a number one and then I don't have the package for this in here but this is a number 23 you need some pins and these are actually Pico uh, track nails which are I don't know if you can see that it's a really long kind of flathead nail looks like a pin um, if you can find these Pico track nails, they'll work the best, but um, we can find uh, pins and just make adjustments along the way. And these items here are uh, mini connectors. The actual part number on this is 810058. Um, these are used, if you're again, if you're not going to make an operating car, you don't need these here. And here's the motor. And I get this off of Hobby Engineering's website. It's just a right angle motor. Um, I don't have a part number off the top of my head here, but um, if you're not making an operating car, you don't need this. 
couplers. I use KD number 803 ON3 couplers. If you're making this in uh, ON30 and you don't use ON3 couplers, you use HO like KD number 5s. Um, I'll explain along the way how to make that adjustment. Alright, well let's uh, turn this pile into some pile of parts into a car.